What's happening YouTube? Hey, my name's Ed, and I'm going to be reviewing the 1893 Pepsi Cola today. I'm a huge Pepsi fan, so I was, uh, I saw the commercials for this, and I thought this sounded pretty interesting. I want to see if this is good. It kind of, the can design, it, it reminds me of a, of a, uh, a beverage like a Guinness or something like that, and they're kind of portraying it as something a little more stout. So, uh, kind of interested in trying it. I got this at Target. It was a dollar seventy-nine a can. It's a twelve-ounce can. Um, let's see. On the can it says, "Boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, spelt K-O-L-A. I don't know. Must be some kind of uh, nut. All right." dark brown malt flavor a touch of aromatic bitters which I know is used in different mixers and drinks I'm sure that this will be <laughs> quite interesting sparkling water and real sugar okay so um, anything else on here uh, it says sugar this is the uh, this is fair tr fair trade certified sugar in here so, all right, got the glass, got the Pepsi 1893. Let's check this out. Okay. Pour it. Okay, well, it's a, it's like standard Pepsi right now. Standard uh, carbonation there. Smells like cola. Let's check it out. Hmm. Well, it's certainly, uh, wow, that's, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. It's not bad. My first reaction was pretty good. And now I'm getting kind of a it's it's not as is like strong as a Pepsi. Uh the carbonation is not as strong. Um The flavor It's nice and sweet. Um, there's something in there. It must be the bitters or something that's given it just a little hint of uh, I don't know. It gives it a little twist in there. It's not too bad. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I don't in all honesty, um I don't see this being a big thing. Um I can't imagine you know, I think initially maybe the big thing will be people are curious like I was. I also purchased the ginger uh cola also. So uh I'll probably be doing a review over that to see if that's any good. But, um, one thing about it is there's like, right now I'm getting no, there's no aftertaste at all. Which is, is good, you know. But really, the flavor almost reminds me of, you know, when there's been times I can't, find Pepsi or in the past and I can't, you know, afford a Pepsi and you're getting the cheap generic stuff or you're having tons of people over so you're like, ah, they'll drink whatever I buy. I'm going to buy the cheapest crap I can find. So, uh, and when you buy like the, the store brand, like the Kroger brand or the Dollar General brand or whatever and you, uh, 
that's what it kind of reminds me of in a way. I mean, I don't know, it kind of, it does kind of remind me of like the Dollar General um, cola a little bit, which is kind of weird because this is a dollar seventy nine for a twelve ounce can. Um, hmm. Uh, I don't know that I would buy it again. I think I will stick with straight Pepsi. Um, you know, if you uh, if you've tried it, uh, let me know what you think. Um, you know. Maybe my, uh, obviously everyone's tastes are different. So let me know what you all uh, think about that. I'm, uh, it is a really different kind of taste. I think the sparkling water in that might help it a little bit, you know, rather than the heavy, like the uh, extra acidic carbonation. It's not as... Like I said, it's not as carbonated as the regular Pepsi. Maybe I am so accustomed to that carbonation that it's, uh, you know, it's just not, not for me, I guess. So I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I would say on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this... I'd probably give it a five. Um, not my thing. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoy it and try it out and let me know what you think. Um, I want to know if you uh, if you think it's good. If you think it sucks, um, let me know. I'm I'm anxious to hear it. Have a good night, and we'll be uh, talking about the ginger cola coming up soon. All right, thanks. Peace.